In 1999, Jamie Tanis Gladu sat in a courtroom appealing a three-year sentence for manslaughter. She stabbed her common-law partner in a drunken rage. Her trial judge said she lived off reserve, so the fact that she's Aboriginal had no bearing on her sentence. But that all changed for her and for all Aboriginal offenders during her 1999 appeal. Within contemporary Aboriginal culture, there are shared negative experiences that come from past attempts to assimilate Aboriginal people into European society. These experiences are so harsh, they have resulted in generations of problems, such as crime. The court recognizes this, and because of Jamie Tanis Gladue's appeal, no matter where or how an Aboriginal person lives at the time of a crime, their particular circumstances must be known. That is the Gladue decision. The Gladue decision shows that healing is necessary to keep Aboriginal offenders out of prison, and there is a need for more use of restorative justice, a place where the offender speaks his or her feelings in a truthful way, and the victim or victim's family has a say in what happens next. The Gladue decision is the constitutional right to have circumstances as an Aboriginal citizen recognized. Once we all see the circumstances, the most difficult work begins. Crime is not tolerable in Aboriginal communities. It is time to heal.